All right, Destiny 2 Vidoc becoming legend. Part one, confronting Oblivion. I'm excited to see what this video shows. Um, this is part one. There's going to be a part two. We'll react to that as well. I'm excited for Final Shape. I hope you are as well. Let's, let's get right into it. And Tyson, take one, Marker. There's a line that emerged in Destiny 1 that wasn't planned for, but it was very deliberate by the person who put it in the game and is very resonant for Destiny players and resonant for me as a person. Going back to the is, Destiny 1. Guardians make their own fate. Yes. Man, it's that been such a long road. For me, that has sort of become a, a touch point for the Destiny story. Again and again, oh, guarding down. external forces come and try to impose a I am Gary, get off my shit. And humanity. And again and again, you show them that they can't do that. You stop it. Yeah, exactly. We're we like, make stop. our own fate. That's we, not we, just a powerful theme of we fate. It's also you don't. a powerful theme for us as people, as both developers and as humanity. We make our own fate. When you're talking about 10 years of story, there's a lot of stuff crammed in there. And there's yeah. a lot of things that we could do and could talk about. But as storytellers, the hardest part isn't coming up with the ideas. It's knowing which ones are the important ones. We want to tell a story that makes you, the player, feel like all of that time that you invested, we saw you, and we want to give you the experience that you've been waiting for. Oh, gosh, I hope we so. We looked at everything <laughs> we had. We laid Others it all out, like whiteboards and like <laughs> everything. We oh, look at all the sticky for notes. A theme that felt resonant. Oh, there's a redacted the on the board. For Destiny as a whole. Bird. And the theme that we kept coming back to was purpose and fate. That's and a lot that's of ghosts. What this story is about not just for ourselves as the player, but also for our characters. Yeah. I used to think <gasps> I'd give anything to bring you back. Oh I my God, my Keith David! Doing those scripts because I, I treated great. it with the love of a He sounds great. Every time I opened a script, I was like, what would I want to see? What would I want to hear? You get to see their emotional journey, the struggle of how do we... Oh, mega mind. He's playing the piano of digital art. What do, I hope they make... You actually the scary because itself. I mean, come on, the one true god. It's goofy. So it's come to the traveler because it needs the power of the traveler's light to Ugh. finish this vision. Venom. Its goal is salvation. I take this feather. Why don't you want that? Be reborn. Our mission is wanna. to make sure that we can prevent it from getting the Ugh. light, the thing that it needs, in order to make it all happen. It's oh, oh good now the, the vanguard is art for the witness here we are thorns in its side a blip on its radar trying to make a difference oh, you're so cute you're witness. not scared and the witness is gonna <laughs> shine a light on some things and you wonder like what would it be like what, what would it be like to be a disciple of the witness wait the what is, is, has yet to be determined. oh we're not gonna join the witness we're in need of a god Every time no. you hear the witness, you're not just hearing one voice, you're hearing whispers in the background, you're hearing all of these other textures. Oh, great. You are still resisting. Why are you, you resisting? Feel a subtext I'm in sometimes your ear. where the real witness comes through, or at least things that it doesn't want you to know Can about. Can you give it. me a I'll large fry? Putting characters into pressure cookers is what storytellers do best. And I can't imagine a more intense pressure cooker than it's the end of the world. If we fail, Apple. everything is frozen forever. Oh. And only we can do it. Apple it's gone. It's just the handful of us inside of a god. What the heck, man? There were a couple of themes that we had. I love that, that like, the, the phasing two main ones that I remember effect. were surreal and shared to spire seeing how they put a tiny little guardian at the beginning of this vast journey that's spreading out in front of you really put into perspective the scale that we needed to hit in order to make yeah we got to go to heart the look and feel scary volcano dangerous and lightning volcano and vast when we were thinking of surreal 
things, it was a bit of a challenge because how do you make something surreal? Why is For there me, an all the cool in there? Putting familiar <laughs> things out of context. <laughs> what? what is the thing when you turn the corner that you are not expecting? So that was we weird. Scale, we play with unexpected things, repetition. There's this I love awesome it. concept art that is like this massive ghost in the horizon and you just like go over there and it's just like broken down in the middle and it's just weird in a way that is yeah that's so cool but at the same time feels very visceral another one that we use was body parts well, it uh, yeah it's strange because <laughs> we didn't want to do body horror so I was taking screenshots from the game and just trying to find didn't want to do body horror too late surreal. and i start replacing all the trees with hands so hands. all the limbs were made out of fingers coming out and eyes were on the floor and i do remember our direction was like that like that's body horror hands. what are you talking about are there hands holding up the tree in which we were born yes <laughs> you'll recognize it instantly and then almost as quickly you'll realize you've never been here there's a lot of hands i definitely feel like there's some aspects of the pale heart where like this is freaking weird and scary i want to take that risk i want to push a little bit of what expectations of a destination can be and i hope that players love that as players progress they get to see more influence of the witness not just on the traveler but also on the races that it's interacted with that we've seen so oh, far oh two of them the dread are a oh boy the bat the zoo bat experimenting with the light so Ugh. while it's inside the pale heart it's able to access the light as it's trying to siphon it oh, that sounds really that good and alter new and different combatants and so we've encountered some of these members before uh -huh. now we have a name for them the new dread units they're using a new language collaborating with narrative we went through and used this constructed language tool to generate different phrases and figure out like grammar structures and, uh, and other things. Does it go? The pure <laughs> language that we, uh, dread what units says. speak is actually translatable. So players, I, if they're really interested in figuring out what the, the pyramid units are saying, could decipher these. Kos yen it get vaktoku vakad. The the one. Uh, it definitely said, take an this out. addition to Destiny because you've never fought anything like them before. We talked about, oh yeah, they need some big weapons. Like, it needs to look like this thing is serious business. That'd be cool they if we can use that. We have a secondary unit on it, so like a two-in-one. As the sketches were progressing, we were kind of like, oh, this feels like it's Ooh. sentient. And we just love the idea. We had all these different sound effects in our library of water bladders that make some really cool sounds when they're shaken we use some sounds of slapping jello <laughs> so that was kind of the foundation you think good the sound. we have all these real physical sounds that come together and feels like an alien moving around <laughs> the collaboration between the different disciplines and the trust we have for each other at the end it comes out better than anybody could have made individually Ooh. There's Whoa, one where you realize guardian. looking at the final shape Wearing that it's not basic just the armor. story about the Guardian's Getting. journey. That's a nostalgic also armor. kind of the story of Destiny's journey. It starts in a place of uncertainty and challenge, and then it changes and evolves, and it proceeds forward into the unknown. And as you get closer to the final shape, those two experiences converge. We know where we're going. We know where we're aiming for. I feel very confident about the love and the work and the thoughtfulness that everyone working on this release put into it. And I think it's Ooh. inevitable that when people start going in and experiencing all these Ugh. different things that make up this expansion, I think they're gonna see it. I won't lose another soldier in this war. Oh, oh, that is a, oh my God, that was a scream. Oh, our ship crashed. Oops. That wasn't my ship, was it? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, if that is our ship that we load in that crashes. Oh my god. Imagine you you like equip like the giant nut. You know, the big rock ship, and then you just like, oh. Oh. I dropped a nut. 
<laughs> I don't know. I'm stupid. Anyways, that is cool. I love that. I'm so excited. And then we get to hear Keith David. I mean, come on. The Arbiter. Now, Savala. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Don't let me down, Bungie, please. My gosh. And then the whole thing about the witness, like, trying to be like, you should, you should join my team. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, we, you know, we, uh, you got creepy Zubats and stuff, um, and creepy stuff and no, I just, I really want the witness to turn into like an actual, like, whoa, I'm terrified of you because at least for me, I'm more terrified on the unknown of witness, like not knowing what the witness can really fully do other than like the things we have seen that was creepy, but as like a buildup of a villain, it's not like the same as like Oryx, for example, where it's like, wow, that is a big bad. Uh, Gaul was also kind of there, but Gaul never really like interacted towards us directly until the end, like from the start and then at the end. And it just, I, I don't know. It just, that, that part was kind of like, eh. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm excited. I am genuinely excited. Um, I'm hyped. I'm very hyped.